My um, European trip in April of uh, 1956 continues. We are now in Germany, in the state of Bavaria. And this is uh, King Ludwig's castle. The Mad King. The, the Mad King. Also, the, Walt Disney used that as a model. Walt Disney used it as a model for the his uh, kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, this is in uh, Garmisch, where the Passion Play is held every year. The mountains of the Alps are in the background. You can see that it is still quite cold, April of 1956. And here we have the palace, King Ludwig. It's supposed to be a little Versailles, I suppose. This is a church. I have no idea where this is. It must still be in Bavaria, and uh, maybe this is near the palace of the Mad King. Mm -hmm. Munich. I took this because of um, the ruined building right in front of us, uh, left over from World War II, which um, was ended 10 years before. Munich was heavily damaged during, during the war. Um, that must be the skyline of um, like Munich. Munich, yes. And I'm trying to think where I was standing, looking down at the uh, city. Yeah, the ah, yes. I remember standing in front of this cathedral, and um, I believe either once an hour, when it strikes, like say 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, those um, models up there go around and make music. There's always a crowd to watch them. Is that Marion Platz? Um, we're back to um, Ludwig's place. In Munich, this is the parade. I took this because it was the parade field where um, <clears throat> years before, in the late 30s, Hitler would have his mass um, gatherings. The um, soldiers, or people would move, uh, march in and Hitler would speak. It's a nice background to, the, um, to Munich. the remnants of uh, Hitler's Germany. Now we continue down to Rome in Italy, and this is the castle of one of the emperors, I believe. And I can't think of it right now, but it was used as a prison later on, and um, it was a palace. Uh, there I am in Rome with, um, on the left, George Addington, on the right, Ray Zacharias, dressed in civilian clothes. Um, all of us were in our mid-twenties, I should say early twenties. Um, in Paris, we had the um, typical French policeman. Well, here we have uh, typical Italian guards. I think the fellow on the right is a policeman. 
and I and this is in front of the King Victor Emmanuel III's monument. The Colosseum. Um, we went inside <clears throat> the Colosseum and um, the ruins. It'll be interesting to compare the interior, looking at this picture, with, with the way it is today. I wonder if they have restored, um, I wonder how it has changed. Again, you have <clears throat> the interior of the Colosseum. There is the cross, and I believe that is where the um, Christians were taken out to go into the arena. Um, the stadium, this is the stadium that was built by Mussolini for an event uh, before the war. What if it was the uh, 38 World Cup? It could have been, and um, it was to be the, if I remember right, they were going to have the Olympics, um, some Olympic event in 1960, I believe, but I was here in, in 1956. There's the Victor Emmanuel, directly across the street, um, where I'm standing, I'm standing facing this, and behind me was the building when, where Mussolini gave his uh, speeches to the crowd below. And um, it's, it's a very impressive um, monument. There are the two... Um, Traveling companions. I think we're standing in front of the part of the Colosseum. Where did you guys stay when you were traveling? I'm trying to think where we stayed in Rome. We had to stay somewhere. I, I don't have any recollection where we stayed in Rome. I know we stayed when we were in Germany at a military base. I have no idea where we stayed in, um, in Rome. <laughs> there I am smiling. Um, these are the, some of the ruins, and we were instructed carefully, do not pick up any of, of the um, relics that are on the ground. I don't know if this is um, um, Titus, the work of Titus. I know he built he built a monument. Maybe I have it here. No, I don't. But anyway, the Roman ruins from over two thousand years ago. Oh, this has to be 